Hello guys, how are you? Hope you are all doing well. Today, I will show you how time study work in industrial engineering. For your uh, easy to understand, I make a, a simple uh, Excel sheet where I will show the show you the detail calculation of time study sheet and uh, how uh, you can calculate a standardized time from this uh, time study sheet art of observing and recording the time required to do each detail element of an industrial operation so a time study you need to have a, a stopwatch so that uh, you can monitor each and every work cycle and uh, which will be counted uh, as a second and also you have to uh, break down the operation type whether it will be manual operation or machine will be used to do that operation and based on the operation uh, we will uh, later on uh, add some allowance personal allowance machine allowance and process allowance which will also be uh, counted as a second before doing a time study and when uh, you will be collecting the information of your worker time Please let your worker know that uh, you will be monitoring their work and then record it and based on this you will be standardize your operational time. And uh, while uh, you will be selecting the sample uh, that is uh, uh, how many people people will be participating in this uh, uh, recording process please uh, uh, take higher efficiency people lower efficiency people and average level of efficiency people so that your standardized time is uh, highly effective for your future use okay, let's see how we can do this time study of a polo shirt uh, will be making uh, a simple polo shirt and uh, first one is the all operational name and then the operational type whether it will be manual or uh, will be used machine for this and we'll be collecting time required for this each and every single operation like a uh, back and front part average uh, uh, one worker can do uh, this uh, 11 second another worker 9 second another worker 9 second another 10 another 11 this process is uh, totally manual process shoulder join here machine will be used and time required for each and every worker is here and uh, like this uh, we'll be collecting all the information of this operation and put in a sheet so that uh, we can calculate further let's see how we can uh, calculate uh, our standardized time first uh, we'll calculate average second they are taking for a operation will be used here uh, average function average of five workers now I will be copying here all the formulas to the below and uh, we'll get the average and uh, this average second I want to convert it uh, as minute then I will divide it by 60 second here is the average minute 
per operation. Now we can see that average minute of operation. Uh, I am getting here for a making a polo shirt is uh, eight point eight nine minute. But uh, uh, we have to add some allowance to standardize our standard minute value. So let's see uh, personal allowance if it is five second then machine allowance uh, uh, it is uh, uh, six second and uh, process allowance it's a uh, suppose it is eight seconds then uh, i will uh, use a formula to calculate uh, this uh, second into minute and also add this uh, allowance uh, with this I already made a formula that is uh, if the operation is manual then a manual uh, allowance will be added and uh, if the process allowance is uh, uh, and uh, if it is uh, machine wise operation then uh, we will be used here machine allowance in addition to this process allowance be uh, added with each and every operation and after that we will divide by 60 second enter here is the smb with allowance then copy the formulas here see here uh, i am getting the overall 15.71 minute which is a SMB with allowance of all these three I think uh, this is a uh, not a very complex task for you uh, I try uh, to take a, a random hypothetical information and put here uh, to uh, just to show you how we can calculate this so if you have any question please let me know thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe our channel